so you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. We are asked to identify the degree, leading term, and leading coefficient of the following polynomial functions. We identify the highest power of the variable to determine the degree. We identify the term containing the highest power of the variable to find the leading term. And finally, we identify the coefficient of the leading term to find the leading coefficient. So for number one, we're given the function f of x equals four minus three x squared minus five x to the third. Let's begin by determining the degree of each term. The first term is four. Any constant term has degree zero. The second term is negative three x squared, which has degree two, given by the exponent of two on the variable x. The third term is negative five x cubed, which has degree three, given by the exponent of three on the variable x. So because the highest power on the variable is three, this is a degree three, polynomial function. And because the term containing the highest power on the variable is negative five x cubed, negative five x cubed is the leading term. The coefficient of the leading term is negative five, and therefore the leading coefficient is negative five. Now I do want to mention one more thing. Often a polynomial is given in descending order, which means the terms are listed from highest degree to lowest degree. If we were to write f of x in descending order, we would have f of x equals negative five x cubed minus three x squared plus four. One nice thing about having a polynomial in descending order is that we can determine the degree, the leading term, and the leading coefficient from the first term of the polynomial function. Again, as long as it's in descending order. Number two, we're given g of t equals one half t to the sixth minus t to the fourth plus three t squared minus one. Let's begin by determining the degree of each term. The degree of the first term is six because of the exponent of six on the variable t. The degree of the second term is four given by the exponent of four on the variable t. The degree of the third term is two. The degree of the last term is zero. Because the highest power on the variable is six, this is a degree six polynomial function. And because the term containing the highest power on the variable is one half t to the sixth, the term one half t to the sixth is the leading term. And because the coefficient of the leading term is one half, the leading coefficient is one half. Notice this time g of t was given to us in descending order. Number three, we have h of s equals s, or if we want s to the first, minus s to the fourth minus five. The degree of the first term is one, given by the exponent of one on the variable s. The degree of the second term is four, given by the exponent of four on the s. And the degree of the constant term negative five is zero. Because the highest power on the variable is four, this is a degree four polynomial function. Because the term containing the highest power of the variable is negative s to the fourth, negative s to the fourth is the leading term. Notice how we have a negative here because of the minus s to the fourth. Remember, minus s to the fourth is the same as plus negative s to the fourth. And because negative s to the fourth is equal to negative one s to the fourth, the coefficient of the leading term is negative one, which means the leading coefficient is negative one. So while we are done, let's go ahead and give h of s in descending order. In descending order, h of s is equal to negative s to the fourth plus s minus five. I hope you found this helpful.